Gum, because I'm not talking to people with no sting breath. Dead, so gum. <laughs> Hey YouTube, it's your girl Ari. So for today's video, I will be telling you guys what's in my work bag. I love watching YouTube videos where there's like celebrities or influencers, they do this what's in my bag. So I was wondering like, hmm, why not do that for my damn self? I did an unboxing of my Telfy, I wanna say last, uh, two months ago. So I have the Oxblood medium sized Telfy. This is my work bag. I can hold everything up to my MacBook as well as just my essentials and my things. And I really love this bag. Like, I've had it for a few months now. It's still in great condition. But yeah, guys, let's, let's get started. The first thing that's in my bag, oh God, it is a hot mess in here. Of course, my car keys. That's always in my bag. Next thing that's in my bag is my AirPods because I need my AirPods. Whether that be going to the gym, going to a grocery store, or just vibing out at work, I need my AirPods. Like These have to be in my bag. My phone charger because yeah if you have an iphone that always dies like mine you need a phone charger so i have my phone charger so my wallet so okay guys don't judge me but i carry an epi pen better safe than sorry so i always carry an epi pen with me i have a bad peanut allergy so essentially a nut allergy and i've never had to use this before but it's always good to have one in case maybe you or someone near you is going through anaphylactic shock and you need the epipen so for all my allergy girlies <laughs> oh floss i always carry a small floss because you never know if you got something in your teeth i eat salads a lot so this is great if in case i have like some kale in my teeth or something in my teeth so gotta carry that floss girl my workout gloves, they usually go in my gym bag, so I'm confused as to how they got in my work bag, but yes, workout gloves, a must. Gum, because I'm not talking to people with no sting breath. Dead, so gum. Hair tie, because you know, us natural girlies, we could never have enough hair ties. So I definitely have a hair tie. Oh God. So I carry a couple lip glosses in here. I'll be sitting here and lying to you guys if I said, oh, I carry a lip gloss. No, I carry several. So, as you guys know, lip oil, good O, Victoria's Secret, their pumpkin spice lip gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss. Like, this is my everyday lip gloss. Like, I'm wearing it now. It looks so good with some brown lip liner. Like, this is my go-to. You could def get this at Victoria's Secret for 10 bucks. I usually buy them in bulk, so they usually do this sale where they'll be like, oh, buy two, get one free, buy six. <laughs> Definitely a must. Um, Beauty Supply Store lip oil. So, yeah, it's the Hydrating Lip Oil by Ruby Kisses. This is some good shit. $2, but it gets the job done. And then, of course, Dior Lip Gloss. I also have my taser in my bag. We live in a society where you cannot not be armed. Like, men will try me. I definitely have my taser in here. It should be charged, but I don't see. Yep, you see that? I reside in middle of fucking nowhere, Maryland. It's always good to have one of these just to be safe. Another hair tie because why not? Hand cream, ladies. You gotta have some good hand cream. I'm gonna put some on right now. You gotta have some hand cream in your bag, ladies. You never know who you're gonna meet. It's getting cold outside. We need our hands to be looking as youthful and hydrated as possible. So the hand cream I have is in the stars. You could get this at Bath and Body Works for nine bucks. I think I got this a part of their promo, so I think I only paid like maybe three but I love this. This has aloe, shea butter, 
vitamin E and hydrolonic acid, so it keeps the hands nice and pretty. So I'll put a little bit on, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on my hand. And it smells light, it doesn't smell like overwhelmingly like sweet because I don't like sweet scents for my hands, but it's very moisturizing. Like, look how pretty my hands are. I'm like, it's some good shit. Okay, next thing, I have my little journal. This is where I jot down things that I need to do. So whether that be like my grocery list, things I need to get done for the day, or just any little thing in between. Definitely have my little notebook so I could just carry on my way and make sure I don't forget things because I am very forgetful. If you know, you know, guys, the edge brush because your edges gotta be maintained at all costs. So definitely I have an edge brush in my bag. Oh, dang. Eyelash glue, I'm guilty of having at least like four of them in my bag. I probably should just keep one in here. But yeah, um, these are strips, they're not individuals, so I have to have my eyelash glue with me at all times. So I have my eyelash glue. <laughs> Speaking of glue, nail glue. As you guys know, I do my own press-ons, so I have to have some good nail glue. This is the Kala Super Nail Glue. This is... Sorry, y'all. You could get about four of these on Amazon for like six bucks. They are worth the investment. A little goes a long way. Like my nails do not lift. I've had my set for about a week and a half. No freaking lifting whatsoever. Like I could literally push this back and it wouldn't hurt. But definitely would recommend that nail glue. And of course, guys, we have our tampons and such because you never know when you catch your period in the middle of the day. And of course, this is just me personally. I carry nail stuff with me. <laughs> Maybe that's just the inner nail tech. I have a little kit right here that usually comes with my press-ons, which is an alcohol wipe, a nail filer, a little wooden, I don't know, dirt picker up thingy and a cuticle cutter. I always carry this in case maybe one of my cuticles are lifting or I need a quick touch up or I just feel like my nails just need work. Definitely carry this at all costs. Ooh, next thing, I have a lot of change in here so I'm not gonna count each change, but I also, ooh, I have a brow pencil. Oh, it's still new, okay. I have a brow pencil. Um, I tend to just draw the line and like gently fill and try not to have the blocky, dark brow like that's not me i like more of like a light brow so i use the wet and wild retractable brow pencil in the color medium brown um i forgot which makeup girl taught me but it's always good to go a shade lighter than your actual brow so it could look more natural versus like your exact shade and it looks harsh so definitely i got this in medium brown i love this pencil you can get this on amazon for three bucks bro like this is my holy grail brow pencil I tried Anastasia before, it just doesn't do it like this. Like this ultimate brow pencil is worth it. Um, plus Anastasia is like 20 bucks for a little ass brow pencil that doesn't last long. Nail glue, same thing. So surprisingly, I also carry some edge control. So this has got to be glued in a small little plastic container. So like I said, guys, I do go to the gym often. I do work out and I sweat my edges at the gym so definitely this is a great little size so i could put it in my bag and just touch up my edges right before i go back into work because got to be glued like like they're not going nowhere i love some got to be glued i have a, a makeup remover so it's the curology micellar wipe um i don't wear too much makeup so the makeup i have on right now is really just blush to be honest with you and just brow stuff and my lashes and some lip liner but it's not like foundation but you know in case i need to wipe my face or i feel dirty got a good micellar wipe in my bag speaking of skin stuff i have my user in oil control 50 spf lotion for my face so this was great for the summer, but now that we're in the winter, I don't have to use as high SPF. I probably could do more of like a 35 or something lower. All right, we're wrapping up, but I have my Pandora pouch. In the lab at my job, we have to take off all our jewelry. So this is such a convenient way so I can keep all my jewelry in one stock. So I just have it in my bag. You could get that at Pandora with like any purchase of a charm or any like set. Um, 
I'm unsure if you could buy it individually, but it doesn't hurt to ask. I have my Ubrevly, so this is for my migraines. I suffer from chronic migraines, so I have to have one of these in my bag at all times, just in case at work I may have a headache and all they have is Tylenol um, or Advil. Advil, Tylenol, Aleve, they don't work for my headaches. I have to use something a bit stronger, so definitely gotta walk around with my Ubrevly. So the last couple of things that are in here really is just pens because it's always good to have a pen in your bag. You never know. Personally, when I go out and I have to sign forms, I don't like using the pens they give me. I'd rather just use mine for my bag. So I like to keep two at all times. Back to wipes. So I have another aseptic. Yep, aseptic. Wipe as well as just like a feminine wipe. It's always good to just have wipes in your bag, period. I have, oh these buddies so this is the loxiton shea butter organic fair for life trade um so this is just shea butter like 100 percent shea butter like i was telling you guys in the winter it is getting colder i have eczema on my hands unfortunately so what i do is i like to put like a little bit I'll show you guys i have to but I tend to put like just a little bit on like my knuckles and in between like my fingers That's where my eczema like looks the worst in the winter I tend to not use this until towards the end of fall I want to say or The begin the right at the beginning of winter because right now just my like hand cream alone is enough moisture for the fall But I know once it starts to get snowy and it gets colder out. I'm definitely gonna need something heavier This is a hundred percent shea butter. You could get this for 13 bucks at L'Occitane um, It is highly moisturizing a little goes a long way and it is fair trade. So I have a dollar <laughs> That goes to say um, my phone case Because I don't I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of in a in a time right now where I like carrying my phone without its case, which I know is bad because if I were to drop it, then. And then the last couple things really are in here is just a bunch of change. Um, another nail filer, just one earring. Yeah, I should probably clean out this bag. Yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, guys. That's the end of the video. So I showed you guys what's in my bag. And just to remind you guys, this is the Oxblood Telfy bag in the size medium. I got this a couple months ago. Definitely worth the investment. The only issue I would say that I have about the bag is that with time and use, of course, the shape is going to be off. When I get the chance throughout the day, I just like make it more crisp, squeeze it a bit. Make sure it keeps a shape and I also try not to keep too many things in this bag. This bag can fit my laptop, which is nice, as well as my um, other things, as you guys saw in the mess. <laughs> but I tend to try to keep this bag as minimally packed as possible. I just pack what I need for work, so it's just a grab and go. If you guys like more content like this, please like, comment, share, subscribe below. And until the next video, bye. <laughs>